Check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. What is it, YouTube? My name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in this gameplay, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to get more wins. And in that, I'm going to show you guys directly what I do as I'm dissecting this gameplay. I think it's a 15 kill gameplay. So, hopefully, aside from other YouTubers where they kind of just tell you tips and they put those out there and you're supposed to just go with it, with this, you're going to be able to actually you know have a lot of fun in the game and you guys are going to be able to see exactly what my mindset is exactly what i'm doing and i explain it all to you guys as we play through now this is actually not part of the gameplay this is just a cool like two piece i got earlier from hella far away but with that being said we're gonna hop into the gameplay now now first things first we didn't get the hottest of drops in this gameplay we actually ended up not having anybody in any contest in firing range which allowed us to have loot now that's not always going to happen to everybody but from those games that you do have that you're this is where you could see it and you know obviously the biggest tip I can show you guys is when you land try to land as far away from people as possible or at least one where you know there's at least 80% chance of a weapon sometimes you can't fix that sometimes you get absolutely no weapon and the game messes you over but we like to rotate farm now when we rotate farm there's almost always people in this red building I didn't think there was one here because I hadn't heard any movement at all. I went up the stairs and then I was like, oh, hey, there's a guy here. Communication is key, guys. I immediately called out to my teammate so he knew that he was up there. I made sure to head glitch that corner so I know if I did lose that fight that I had the corner. My teammate had a little bit more time. Now, sometimes there's a disconnect between you and your teammates. Actually, real quick before I say any more of that, I want you guys to know when I was shooting rockets at this helicopter, I saw somebody going towards it. And the reason why I shot the helicopter was because I thought he was going to be inside of it. And when uh, that happened, I was hoping to get it easy down. Now, there's going to be a couple of skips throughout this. It's just uh, some. Uh, sometimes it was the recording. Sometimes it was me trying my best to not make it boring because there are certain times where the gameplay does get stale and does get a little bit boring. So I wanted to run through that with you guys now I noticed this RCXD below me I immediately called that out while I was searching for this guy's teammate because I thought this guy had two teammates turns out Mason was able to immediately pick up that kill uh, or my teammate and he was able to immediately pick up that kill I see the RCXD still moving around so I know it's still being controlled and while I know it's still being controlled I don't know where they are but my biggest guess is in this building so I call out that the RCXD is near this building as he calls out the helicopter above me he knows I have a rocket also being aware of your teammates inventory is very helpful in certain situations I get shot at from behind luckily they don't know how to aim I shoot towards this rocket to make sure that I could try to pick up the kill in fact they actually land on the roof they jump out when they heard they're targeting I pop off a couple of shots just to, for them to know that they uh, they should bunker down they should hunker down because they don't know what's gonna happen they don't know where the bullets are coming from they just know they're coming from behind now we focus all of our attention to go over here and we uh, we, we focus on and trying to kill these opponents I throw out a smoke in order to make sure that we have safe passage at least from that window in order to get over here or at least move up on our position he starts firing at my teammate behind me luckily I had good timing and was able to throw up a Molotov up there knowing the smoke was still here I decided to push this doorway instead I see him trying to kill me off from over there as well as his teammate has rode it over he tried to get me get a kill out here I was able to pick up both kills but my teammate was right there staying close to your teammates is one of the biggest tips that I can possibly give you guys staying close to your teammates make sure that they if they do ha go down you have an opportunity to get them one of the worst things is when you are already frustrated at the game and you have to still sit there and watch your whole team like try to play through the game so trying to keep your teammates up a lot as much as possible creates a good morale for the whole team creates a good atmosphere Sometimes it can't be helped. Sometimes it can't be helped. Sometimes it's not. And I'm not saying that it's always in a big deal, but sometimes it can't be helped. Also, loot your own stuff, guys. In this video, I said, you know, my one of my teammates loot down here. I loot up in the other section. We were both able to get loot that we needed, and I get, got scraps from the second body because, you know, he didn't need that anymore. He also was kind enough to give me my ammo type. Like I said, this goes right back around to knowing your teammates' loadout. He gave me rockets specifically, so I'd be able to lock on to this, make sure they can can't leave I decided I didn't want to do that because it was already wounded enough and if they did try to take off in it we could use bullets instead knowing that it was weak enough for us to shoot it down like that they obviously didn't want to take that off so our biggest guess is that they're in there now and that they're going to be hunkered down and they're going to be trying to wait for us we have spent a long time fighting over here they did not try to contest us over here at all at this point I tell my teammate I noticed my teammate which is 
which is a big thing, and noticing their armor as well, their armor and their health. There's no reason for you to be sitting on 10 bandages and your teammate has none. Make sure that you guys are pumping out uh, health items towards each other and everything too. He decided it was a great idea to go back for uh, the armor level 1. I didn't call it out earlier because I didn't notice, but when I did notice, I went ahead and called it out so he can go back and get it. It's important and it is key to be as healthy as possible throughout your whole game. Being as healthy as possible throughout your whole game will make sure that in any situation, you are able to have the biggest chance of winning it even at a disadvantage. So, at this point, I was told that there was that I could shoot down planes with a rocket launcher. It didn't lock. I don't know if I have to target it or aim it like without having a lock on or not i am at the care package too because i was like i said i was told uh, i'll probably do a mythbuster series on some of the things that are fabled inside the game now from prior game knowledge which is a big thing too if you're not if you're inexperienced some of the things you're just not going to be able to help but with this i know this was a good vantage point to get eyes on level two and be close enough to level one for if they peeked that window for me to be able to get a pretty good kill on them now i didn't hear anything except for bullets coming from up here i was able to pick one up but i did not have enough bullets and he kind of just warriored me i told my teammate he was to the left we focused on not ending his teammate but instead making sure that he was dead and we ended up both getting pretty nice kills once again, we started looting, and we're able to pick up things that we think are better. I personally thought it was a good time to switch the Augur DMR because when, when it comes to late game, I believe it's better to have a long-ranged weapon just in case you get pinned down to certain positions. You guys will see later on in the gameplay that it did help me out a lot in a lot of different situations. Also, making sure you guys pick up throwables. Throwables are probably the most OP thing in this game, and it's not necessarily that they're OP because if you don't know how to throw them or don't know what situation to use them in, you can cause yourself and your teammates a lot of harm. Arm. so what you want to do is make sure that you owe it you understand how to use them so practice with them a lot practice them with them as much as possible make sure they're in your inventory now in that moment we were in the uh, the best place we could possibly be we're in the center of the map we stayed here for a little bit so we ended up cutting the video and coming back to a different spot where it shows me kind of just watching his butt making sure that he if he's shooting at something i make sure he doesn't get snuck, snuck up from behind now, we move over to this. I see people in firing range. I call it out. Or more as I didn't call it out. He noticed I was firing. He asked me where I was going to. I called it out afterwards. And we decide to make a push towards it. The storm's going to be coming in soon. There's no reason for us to be trapped out here. So we decided that we were going to go ahead and make a move towards it. We, uh, you know, map knowledge is a big key thing for the game. At this point, I called out that he was supposed to be coming to bar, uh, or I wanted him to go bar with me. So to make sure that not only was he nearby, but he also knew exactly what I was planning and what we needed to be doing. We didn't spot anybody from in here. We didn't see anybody in here. So he just said, you know, the storm's coming in, man. Let's go ahead and let's push to our left. Now, after this, he was oh, I was a little bit hesitant but he also asked me to make sure that we kept from uh, getting flanked from behind you know we saw people in here earlier so we did we do know that there is a possible that people like are late to the party so they do like to move late I know sometimes when I'm playing solos or when I'm playing quads but my teammates are down I like to ride the storm in it's actually a pretty nice strat it happens quite often but I decided that I didn't want to do it really in this one and that we were just going to be aggressive as possible in certain situations. Not too aggressive, not stupid aggressive. There's a difference between being aggressive and playing aggressive and playing stupid. Therefore, we noticed that this was unlooted, so we went ahead and we ended up looting it just to make sure that, you know, we were we, anything we got we got a spare concussion you know stuff like that i noticed there was a long barrel in there um, i think one of the biggest things for me to explain is that when you're playing games any battle royale no matter what it is, a key part of that is knowing what you want to do before you do it like always being a step ahead so i know and, and I, I had my smoke equipped like right now and i did that on purpose because i wanted for it to be there if we ever needed to be out of sticky situation now in a moment my teammate is going to call out that there is a late bloomer i was talking to you guys about it earlier people that like to ride the storm in or possibly even get stuck by the storm i move up here and he tells me that there is one coming up behind us he starts firing at him he stops popping off shots at him and i'm like okay so now I look for him. I hear the glass break, so now I know he's inside. There's no way he's not inside. I look for him as much as I possibly can. I see this is the broken glass, and I see him moving around in there. I was able to pick him up. I, he almost killed me. I only had 31 health left after this. And the rest of this game, I pretty much play without armor. Playing without armor is a big deal. Now, because you can get absolutely annihilated if you don't play careful. Now... I won't say I necessarily played careful. I did ne I did make sure to keep to myself as much as possible. So that was the most important thing for me in that situation. 
Now, I picked up as much ammo as I possibly could. That's another thing. Staying stocked up on ammo, staying stocked up on health is very important. I looked for as much armor as I could. Make sure you check everything. You never know where armor is going to spawn. Sometimes if you can get cheeky headshots and make sure you do most of the damage to the head, maybe even a one-shot kill. Some people will even have armor on their bodies as well uh, from off-rip. So they'll just already have it, and that's pretty great. I've done that with, I think, level 3 armor before. No, no, not level 3. Level 2. Level 3 armor if you do that it is possible to do that but you'll still end up damaging the armor a lot so that's pretty that's pretty stupid um i wish it wasn't like that but it is unfortunately now these two red houses are probably the most important houses of the whole gameplay because a lot of our gameplay stems around these houses now i check inside of here i see smoke but i'm like i don't know what's going on my teammate calls out that there's an enemy behind him he fires off a couple of shots there i see the grenade coming i fortunately was able to get out of the way of it i look towards in here i see it oh and then i see a bad guy up here and i'm like okay well let me smoke this room and see what's going on i immediately switch to my barricade they put the fire down which they do not know is actually trapping them because they can't move through their fire and i've set down a barricade so if they come down they're dead i switch to my simtex grenades that i had from earlier and i throw one up there i know i saw two and i only got one down so i immediately have to put another one up there and that causes me to be out of my simtex grenades for the game but i confirmed two kills right there they absolutely didn't know what was happening they were trapped and that's why you have to worry about not putting yourself in a situation into which you can get trapped and easily be killed based on the fact that you're not able to go anywhere. That's probably the worst part about having to be in that little hut right there. We're looking for the people that threw the original Simtex because unfortunately those two were not the culprits. That being said, I start taking fire from there. I want to make sure I heal up before I get before I recontest. I heal up just a little bit because I know I have an Augur DMR in my inventory. He unfortunately throws that nade too high for it to kill me, but the little Simtex grenades come in the room and they hit me. They hurt me a lot. My teammate was fortunately close enough to res me as soon as I went down. That was kind of brutal. He knows he's still throwing items in there to try to get the kill. He can't get the kill yet. So right now, we're still playing cat and mouse. We don't know where he went. We don't know who, where he is or where he was originally firing from anyways. We have kind of a general sense. I take the risk and I risk the biscuit and I try to push this way. I know he saw me right there. I climbed through here. Like I said earlier, guys, map knowledge, knowing the ins and outs of these little houses are really important. I decided that I wanted to maybe even check one of these bags, I think. I'm not pr pretty sure. I think I checked one of these bags, but I'm more of wondering if he knew I came in here. He obviously did not. I see him out of the corner of my eye and I'm able to pick up that cheeky kill on him through the window which he didn't even know I was there so that's pretty cool my teammate is on, safe on the other side of the on the other side of the hill and I'm able to make sure that some of this stuff gets looted up and we get but over prioritizing loot at late game is not going to be a very key thing that you want you want to pick up what you need and not what you think you want or you don't want to switch out weapons all of that takes too much time and in a battle royale you have little, very little to no time to do anything especially in these smaller circles now this the circle is shrinking again soon so we have to worry about people and pushing on us we're close to the last circle unfortunately we were actually able to be in a situation in which we were we we were we had the advantage we had the houses locked down we had the advantage now big thing uh about that was made my teammate made sure that the trip mine was gone look for traps because sometimes your teammates can be blindsided on things that you don't call out you know what I mean? So he fortunately, I, I didn't call out the trip mine. He saw the trip mine. He made sure he killed it so I didn't get in trouble. We ended up seeing two more people on these hills. One tries to push. I'm able to knock him down pretty easily. I put a bullet into the guy behind, and my teammate has high ground on him, so he was able to get a good nade off. And that's what I'm talking about with throwables. Making sure your whole team is equipped with the efficient amount of throwables can get you out of a bunch of sticky situations. Now, I got sniped in the back, and I told my teammate that I got sniped in the back, but I needed a heal. Whereas he watched out for me and made sure that I didn't get hit anymore. I called out the direction. Knowing the direction and the numbers is probably another key point that you guys are going to have to want. If you want to win more games, making sure they know exactly where people come from. Over there is not a call out, so it wasn't an effective way. He gets one down. And throughout this, it's like, okay, he's got it down. I know the other guy's got to be close. And, you know, I pick him apart here. We get the victory. And that's kind of the way it goes. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you guys out. If it did, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you guys leave a like, sub, and hit that bell to be notified on all of my future videos. With that being said, peace.